So a couple of years ago, there were a number of questions about and bills introduced that concerned uh, possible reform of the Met Council. And I mention that here because we have a viewer from our Facebook Live account who wants to know, why not get rid of the Met Council? Uh, I think it's uh, a little broader than that. There's also the possibility of reforming the Met Council. <laughs> but I'm just wondering if there's been any discussion about that in this session. Let's start with you, Senator Dames. Yes, there has. There's a lot of discussion about the Met Council, and I think that that's kind of a continual discussion, whether you're for the Met Council, against the Met Council, just where you're at. That is a continuous dis discussion, and I think it's a discussion that we need to continue to have. I think some of the real heartburn that, that I hear is the manager of the Met Council. Uh, a lot of people feel that, that there's not enough oversight of the Met Council. Uh, we hear, you know, we hear a lot of issues about the Met Council. Keep in mind that I am from a co my counties do not, uh, they're not tied into the Met Council. But I'm not so sure we couldn't do a little better job of oversight and possibly have some way that there's some input by the communities that are members of the, of the Met Council to have some input as to who the members of the Met Council will be and not just have them appointed. If they're going to be appointed, maybe we can work with that, but then maybe we ought to have it so that if an individual is rep representing three or four communities, that those at least 50% or whatever, those communities have to ratify that individual to be their representative. So if the communities feel they have some input into the process. And I think that's one of the things I hear a lot of is that the communities don't really feel they've got an input into the process and really don't have much say as to what's happening. Uh, the other thing is, is a lot of people feel that they have really growing into from what their original, what their original job description or, or mission was to what it is today. I think has has changed an awful lot, uh, right or wrong. I'm not sure, but uh, so yes, there's a lot of discussion about the Met Council, and I'm sure there will continue to be. Senator Schoen. Well, I, you know, I, I appreciate that he pointed out that he doesn't have any communities that are served outside. I mean, he's outside of the mm. Musa. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, right? And uh, you better tell our viewers what the well, Musa the, is. Well, the, the Metropolitan Utility Service, service line. Area, right. the line right. area. But the bottom line is that the Met Council handles uh, transit, and it also handles sewer and water, and it's so it, it's a pretty major area. And it does talk about development too, and I, that is the number one issue. Uh, where you go around to some communities, like Lake Elmo has always had a beef with the Met Council talking about where and how much development they're going to have to do. And it comes down to this, how many toilets can you flush in what area? I mean, the, we are going to have, an, in Cottage Grove and Woodbury, it's going to be 250,000 people before too long. And that's not going to take that long. It's going to maybe maybe I, I won't be in the legislature at that point, but I mean in the next 20 years it's going to grow that much. I mean you still have to provide the the, the facilities. So if we're going to have to come to the legislature every year to say, well, Cottage Grove needs a wastewater treatment plant, we do that in Marshall. We help with those types of things because you have a town, but it's not a regional area. In our areas, it's regional and that several cities go to the same wastewater treatment plant, somebody has to manage that and make sure it works. So I am not going to disagree that there isn't valid discussions that need to be happening about representation, but I can tell you that if I went out to, the, out to their Senate district, out to Marshall, and said, you have three counties that are working together and that Rick Hansen and I from the, the metro area don't like the way you're doing it and we're going to have something to say about it, you can be, be assured that uh, Senator Dames would be fighting for his communities and would be telling me, mind your own business. And I think that's the kind of the conversation that we really have to discuss about, listen, we have our needs in the metro area, and, I, and we have our needs where I grew up in, in greater Minnesota, and I want to help these two make sure their communities thrive and have clean water and have wastewater facilities. And we also need to be, make sure that we have the transit that we need in our communities, and we have the wastewater treatment and the water delivery that we need in our communities. In the, and, and for us, the Met Council is the number one source of that. Representative so. Hanson, your thoughts, Met Council reform bills and so forth? The sun comes up in the morning and goes down at night, and somebody is going to complain about the Met Council every hour of the day. I mean, I've been here before, even, even when I was on a soil and water board, people were complaining. There's people that complained about the Met Council. But then you ask them, what are you complaining about? And it's usually governance. It's yeah. not whether the, the not toilet the service, board, yeah. not the service, or the services, we're not getting enough bus service. The transit isn't coming out to our district. It's mm -hmm. stopping at the county line. They're actually upset they don't get enough. They're, they want more. And I think, um, you know, these issues come that we hear them from the Airports Commission as well. 
and, and it ebbs and flows. Someone has to say no to some things, and someone often has to say, how about looking at it differently? Or someone says, have you thought of this? And we love government in Minnesota. We have lots of local government. And people love local More control. townships than any other state or something? More like that. townships, watershed districts, own water districts, cities, counties. We, we and love there are government. metro townships, and I represent them. And I, you know, uh, Lilydale, we were talking about last night, Mendota and my district are small towns. We love government. We love elected officials. We love uh, appointed officers. And they all want to do their job and not have somebody else tell them what to do. That's also, I think, part of being Minnesotan. So what could be done? <clears throat> I think staggered terms is a simple thing that should be done. I think that the Met Council lines should match and follow city lines easier or at least uh -huh. you should they should be um, <clears throat> people should be able to know who their Met Council representative is and how to reach them hmm. and it, it may be on a web page or they may but and I think this is a task of Met Council people who are appointed that they need to show up at stuff like we do when you're, <clears throat> when you're making these tasks um, and is it the appointed versus the elected? I think I've supported elected in the past. Maybe all for more accountability. Maybe maybe there needs to be hybrid, or maybe there's like people that are elected metro wide. You know that they're not just representing the district. It's almost the, the kind of the House U.S. Senate role, where it's somebody represents that that you know who to call and what they and and how to contact when there's a problem. And we, it's it, it's often where is. The service going to come? What more service can we have on the developing fringe? As development heats up again, you're going. We're all going to hear more issues because as some of the townships transition into more developed communities, these conflicts come with the Met Council. Because do you extend sewer and water? Where do you extend sewer and water? And these are big money issues. Um, and get and, the funding for and it. And where do you get the funding for it? And who pays? So I think there's things we can do with governance. I think there's also a role. In my years here, I think there have been Met Council oversight committees that have come and gone uh, at the legislature. Um, I think there are advisory committees. I think there's even like a Met, Met Council Parks advisory committee. I mean, there's, again, because we love government, uh, but we also, I think what we're seeing in Minnesota, at least in the last six months, is a, an awakening of interest on, on government. Uh, I know I have more people showing up in my office. I have more people showing up at town meetings. And they're not only asking about the jobs that we all do, but they're asking about Met Council, they're asking about City Council, they're asking about County mm -hmm. Commissioners. Um, and I think that's a good thing. And so here's a moment where we could look at doing some reform and that uh, I think there's an opportunity. I, I know that a lot of the local governments want to have a member where mm -hmm. you're this city person. Mm -hmm. and. You know, you pick your city, and then the rest of the cities are going to say, well, you're just looking out for your city. Sure. It's, mm -hmm. I, I think you have to be a master to the people who How elect you. How do you deal you. with that consolidation? So I think in bonding, we had the, the Tacketite, Bovey, Coleraine, or uh, water uh, folks that mm -hmm. came up. I mean, yep. this is, this is we have consolidation of school districts. Mm -hmm. We have consolidation of wastewater treatment. Yep. And that's, this is what that is. But it's just the biggest one in the state. Yeah. Well, and so people are like, how does, and so it, it does a lot of stuff that covers a lot of area and multiple uh, governmental jurisdictions. And it's an easy target for people to be mad at. Mm -hmm. But you know, part of the easiness of that target is the fact that the constituents don't feel there's accountability and don't feel that they can do anything because the folks, they have no way. I mean, if you're a county commissioner and folks don't like you, don't like what you're doing, the next election, somebody will replace you. Yeah, I think you. Representative just Hansen like, and who I live in those areas just agree like that, we, we, you know, that we accountability are. could be and much so better. And so when you have no way to go to the ballot box and express your opinion, it puts up a barrier that really... And I, I'm just an outsider looking at looking in at, but, but then really we need you up, not to dismantle, you know, be, a, looks, be helpful to dismantle the Met Council, but a barrier. But that accountability, that needs we need to it. be dealt with, and yeah. somehow we need to get some some accountability. And I'm not saying there is an accountability, but people don't feel there is. 
So we got to change that. Either change the philosophy, or if there isn't, make sure there is. But I think we have to give the people a way to voice their opinion on who some of these representatives will be. Representative Swazinski, sure, we're going to give you sure. a chance to get a word well, in there. Well, yeah, I, I just think, you know, it's we are also state representatives. We represent our districts, but we also represent the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have caucus members that are obviously in, uh, folks that we serve with. Uh, they, we share their concerns. We, we look at those issues and how they bring them up to us as a rural member and how they want those issues potentially addressed. Um, I can tell you I've got mayors, mayors along the 212 corridor. Uh, that would really like the Met Council to focus on the narrow spots uh, on 212, where it goes from four lane to two lane to four lane again, mm -hmm. uh, and have some of that focus outside of the of the 494, 694 area. So, you know, having those conversations just doesn't. Uh, it's not necessarily always if you're in the cities, but sometimes just the conversations we so have with folks. They want you to start paying Met Council fees. Is that right, <laughs> out, Marshall? <laughs> so all, all I will say about this Heard that issue, here first from no, I don't think so. I'm not okay, sure. I'm not all, all I'll say about this issue, and of course I stay out of the uh, the partisan discussions, but it is a it is a le it is a fact of statute that the uh, Met Council members are appointed by the governor, yes. and governors of both political parties um, uh, haven't been enthusiastic about giving up that authority, from what I can tell. Well, that, that that is, well, I would say that in rulemaking, uh, you know, whether it's Tim Pawlenty or Governor Dayton, uh, when the legislature, whether they're Republican or a Democrat, wants to rein in that rulemaking ability from the agencies, uh, it's been fought both ways. And, uh, 